Hey guys, it's the Quincy Tumor again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining the channel. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you if you haven't subscribed to the channel to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm really excited because it's been about 12 months since I launched the YouTube channel. I've been doing a lot of different things for the channel, a lot of different content which I really have enjoyed. I really appreciate everybody in the channel who has been sending me messages, sending me you know, telling me thank you for the content. I want to thank you back for all the time that you have spent in the channel. So what I'm going to be doing today is basically break up the earnings for my YouTube channel. I want you to know that some of those earnings are, you know, 12 months. It's, it's starting slow. I don't want you to panic and say, oh, Dilmer is spending all this time, but he's not generating enough revenue. And everything starts like that. I just want you to know that. And things are going to start growing. I just want you to pay attention to, you know, the numbers that I'm showing and the consistency and the growth because I think that's at the end of the day that's basically what we're looking for we're looking for something that is steady we're looking for people that are you know enjoying the content in our community we're not looking for overnight success so I want you to pay attention to you know as I like I said the numbers the growth and then making a strategy for the future to actually grow our channel even bigger than what I have right now so let's jump into my computer and start looking at the numbers thank you guys all right guys, so here we are in my dashboard in youtube.com and then my channel. So one of the things that I wanted to show you was the dashboard that I have and then basically show you the subscribers as of today, which is 12,344. I'm also at 288,000 views and then 389 videos. And just to give you a, an overview, I've been doing videos consistently since, you know, about 12 months ago. and the amount that you see here is pretty high and it's because I've been pushing a lot of videos almost every other day I push videos so that's kind of a, a you know more information for you to know like if you want to do something though, like what I'm doing or if you want to or you have a different niche you want to make sure that you are also very consistent in, in everything that you're doing so in addition to these stats right here you can also see the stats that I have overall for the night you know for the last 30 days I am getting around, I think it is about 35 subscribers every day. And it's been consistently going going up. There are days that I get 90 people, some days I get 100, some days I get 10 people, but it's been consistently growing. And, and I really appreciate you know the community for, for following me and subscribing to the channel, it's been really great. So this, what, I, what you see right here is from the a plugin that I downloaded from the YouTube Buddy. So if you want to see something like this, make sure that you, you check them out because they have a really cool, basically a really cool plugin that allows you to see the stats right from the right from this dashboard. So you can also see if we go, not only we can look at subscribers for the last 30 days, but you can also look at the views for the last 30 days. You can see how I've been getting around, I, I would say around a thousand views every day on, on average which you know is, is kind of mind-blowing because when i i remember when i had a blog i wasn't i was getting about 10 people you know viewing my content every day sometimes 30 sometimes 40 but it was never this high to say that i was getting you know about a thousand views a day that to me was was almost like it was going to take too long so with youtube i've been able to you know to reach to more people and, and many of the people that follow me are the people that follow me in twitter so it's been really great to kind of leverage the community and grow the community and teach him what I'm learning for again development. So the views have been, you know, steadily growing. It's been, it's been awesome. And also if you look at the videos for the last 30 days, you can look and see that I'm doing, I'm not doing one every day, but I'm almost doing one every other day. Sometimes I do two videos. So for the most part, I do one to two videos. Looks like this day I was probably, I probably had a lot of time left on my hands and I did release three videos. So I try to be consistent and release one video every other day. And the days that I have a lot of time, of course, I release more videos. But you want to make sure that you're consistent. Like if you have a channel and you're thinking, okay, should I do one video a day? Should I do two video a day? I think the, the takeaway from, from what I've been doing, and, and I'm not a YouTube expert, but this is my own experience, is that you need to be consistent. Even if you do one video a week, or you do two videos a week or three videos a week, make sure that you are consistent and you're always pushing content. Try not to just push a video one week and then, you know, a couple of months on the road, you say, oh, I wanna push another video. You wanna make sure that you're consistent because your community 
is there and you're building a community and if they don't if they don't hear from you it's really hard to build a community that way so make sure that you're consistent that's another one of my takeaways so now let's dive into the analytics so i'm going to go into my youtube beta and looks like youtube has two versions one is the classic and one is the beta they've been pushing these analytics which are which are i like them a lot better because it gives you you know more actionable information the other one is just there was just too much information in front of you so one of the cool things that i like about youtube is that they're giving you a dashboard not only on the stuff that you have published before but you can see like on this video this video is actually doing a 99 percent better than you know than my other videos so if you look at the view duration i'm also getting about one one minute and 20 seconds so that's up three percent versus the typical video that i that i have and then also the watch time it's been going up and the reason for that is because i've been adding or other things such as any screens and also the cart so a lot of that has has been helping me a lot to do you know when i'm doing videos the other cool thing that i can see here is the channel analytics i can see you know my counts and it also does a comparison over the last 28 days so this shows that i got a thousand new people over the last 20 days which is amazing it's it's honestly mind-blowing I, I really appreciate all of you who have been you know supporting me who follow me who subscribe so this has been doing really great also the watch time has been going up i get i'm getting four percent and a lot of these things take time like i'm not saying that you know day one you're going to release a video and it's going to do amazing and and a lot of my videos in the beginning did really bad I, I was getting one to two views a day and i also didn't know what i was doing so it's just been the consistency has been my my best skill like i look at thumbnails i i, I honestly over analyze what i'm doing i try to improve and there's a lot of things that i still need to improve i'm not gonna lie there's a lot of things that i want to improve today i want to become a better you know better editor i want to become a better producer of the videos i want to bring you better content i want to really dive in into the code so there's a lot of things that i want to that i want to improve on so there's always room for improvement so if you look at the last 28 days like i was saying i was i'm getting about seven percent increase over the previous 28 days so this is going up revenue is going up so you might say dilmer 80 dollars and that's all you're doing and that's all you're making and you're you're basically working really hard and and i want to i want to tell you that it's not all when you when you're making a community when you're building you know you're building engagement make sure that you don't focus on the revenue my goal here is not not to focus on the revenue but become somebody that people can count on to to get video, basically information about game development so i want to be always remember as a person who is teaching somebody to make games i that is my focus this right here it's gonna it's basically the plus and i can use that to you know to maybe hire hire somebody for a few hours to help me with the videos or or do some other things that can help me get to my goals faster so just don't focus too much on that i know that's not as much as you might think it is but but beyond the money it's the community that i'm building a community that came from zero and now has grown to 12,345 people so that's basically what you see here you also see here like you know the news I also look at Creators Insiders to get a lot of ideas about what I need to improve, what other creators are doing. So it's always good if you're building, you know, a YouTube community to get some ideas from from those videos because they, there's a lot of people in there that have been doing this for years, and like I said, I only been doing this for 12 months. So there's you know that in, that amount of time that I've been experiencing that where these people have been doing it for years. So the next thing that I wanted to do is I want to show you analytics because that's basically what this video is about is to show you analytics over time on my YouTube channel. So right now what I show you is basically the last 28 days of, of my channel. So you can see that I'm doing, you know, 7% better over the previous 28 days. So I got 41,007, you know, views and that's actually amazing. That's what I did in 28 days. That's that to me is incredible where you know when i had a blog i was just getting four to ten people every day so this is really you know motivating to keep creating more and also the watch time this is a watch time in minutes so ninety-seven thousand minutes that's incredible also and and i want you to to i, I want to pause here just for a minute because i i want you to know that even though this looks great right now it's been you know when i started 
I was getting, like I was saying, two to three views. I was getting no watch time. I was getting no subscribers. So when you look at these numbers, and if you look at your numbers and you're barely starting, don't get discouraged by that. Just know that if you're consistent and you keep working on your channel, you're going to get to this. You're going to get to, you know, even more than what I have right now. So just be consistent in what you're doing. So back to the topic and subscriber counts, I'm getting, you know, this time I, I got a thousand subscribers. It's better than what I did on the last 28 days, which is 7% increase. And then I'm also getting revenue. I wasn't getting revenue until I hit the milestone. So now I'm getting this, basically this bucket fill in, which is $80 in the, in the last 28 days. And you might ask me like, would this revenue comes from what, Dilmer? And this revenue is basically what I'm getting from ads. So if somebody, you know, jump into my video and they get a video on an ad for a different company, so some of that revenue that that ad is basically paying for, it goes basically to my channel. So just keep in mind that that's all the money that I'm generating right now in the channel is basically from this. So basically this is all doing really well. I'm, I'm really happy. The other things that you can see here is some of the videos that I have made better that are doing really well in the last 28 days. So you can see that my, my Visual Studio code set up, it's doing really well. And this is actually the first one in Google if you search for Unity and VS Code, it's gonna be the first one, and that's why that one is doing so well. The same thing with this one, like if you wanna build and push something to the App Store, I have a video that goes into a lot of detail of how to do that, so people really like that, and you can see that from, from my top videos. I also dive into LWRP, which is the rendering, the, the low-way rendering pipeline for Unity, and I did the same thing with VFX Graph. So these are some of the top videos. You can, of course, see more, and it gives you a lot more detail. So the first one, it's basically giving me 6,000 views on its own for the last 28 days. And then this one, it's about 5,000, 3,000, and so on. So these videos are doing really great. The other thing that is really cool here is you can look at real-time analytics. And this is showing me basically views in the last 48 hours. You can see that from 12 to 1 and right now it's 107 i was getting i got a basically 54 views which is which is awesome also from 11 to 12 76 views so this kind of gives you an idea when your community is active when they're watching your videos so i would i would want to make sure that you pay attention to that because it's really helpful if you want to push a new video to know exactly what time it's that is important and i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie to you i push videos even at midnight i push videos even at 3 a.m. in the morning. And you might ask me, Dilma, why do you do that? And the reason I do that is because I have two kids. I, I really don't have much time left throughout the day. So I stay I stay up late and work on the videos. And then when they go to bed, basically that's when I go into my office and then I release videos at that time because that's the only time that I have for, you know, for spending time in the channel. So you can also look at some of the videos that are doing better over the last 48 hours, which this one shows my science fiction CD pack that I did for basically to show the Synthes Studios asset and how I incorporated it into the Oculus Quest. So these stats are, are really great. I, I really use them a lot. And if we now go into Reach, you can also look at some of these tabs. So if I look at Reach, this is basically going to give you more of impressions, like how many views do we have, how many, you know, the click-through rate, the views that I got on over the tw last 28 days, and then what are the, the unique viewers? So in this case, I have 22,600, you know, unique viewers that I got in the last 20, in the last 28 days. I can also look in here and basically put my mouse over each one of these days. So I can look at the July 9, I got 20, basically 20,889 views, which is, which is really incredible. Also on July 10, I have 15,000 and then and then so on. So this is overall, I'm, I'm really happy with the results. So the other things that you can look in here is where's my traffic coming from? And you might, this, this is a question that I had at the beginning, like, okay, how do I, how do I reach more people? Is YouTube going to recommend my content? Are, are other pages that are going to be recommending my content? And you can see that most of my reach and the highest reach is from YouTube, people searching in YouTube. And you can see if you look at these, uh, at the help, at the help, it says search terms used by viewers on YouTube to find your content. So this tells me that YouTube is recommending my content. They're pushing it out to other people. So I'm really happy about this. 
also external so this is like external traffic coming coming from you know it might be google search it might be reddit it might be you know facebook it might be other areas that i'm putting my content on game game has basically been posting and, and talking about my channel and i really appreciate that and i want to give them basically a thank you for for doing that so some of that content might be this 31 percent i can also look at you know channel pages I can also look at some of the content comes from playlists. People are also adding my videos to playlists, browsing features, others, and you can also click on see more if you wanna go into more detail. So the other things that is really helpful is if you wanna know the external traffic, you can see where, where my traffic is coming from. So if you look at the 36%, so that's basically YouTube recommending my content. You can also look at external traffic and that's 31%, but that doesn't really tell you in detail what that external traffic is so if you go to the external you can look at that 31 percent matches basically that 31 percent because that is the 31 percent basically the details of that 31 percent so if you look at the overall of the 31 percent i can see that people are finding my content by basically doing common searches so 70 70 percent of the external traffic comes from google search and and that to me is mind blowing because that's what I want most of my, my traffic to come from. First, I want YouTube to find my content, people searching in YouTube to find my content, but I also want Google. So if somebody's searching for you know Unity or if they're searching for Magic Leap, I want people to find my content. So that's basically with that number. Most of the traffic comes from that number. The other one is Reddit. I've been posting in Reddit in in few, you know, in a few channels and they call themselves Reddit, so that's 3.8% of my traffic is coming from Reddit. You can also see that 2.5% of my traffic comes from Facebook because I have communities in Facebook. I have a big, basically my page, my game studio page in Facebook has a lot of people and that's basically where that 2.5% traffic is coming from. Looks like people from Unity are also posting about my content, so I get 1.6% of that external traffic. So. I want you to know too that even though some of that per the percentage might seem low in certain communities, you never know. Like you, I would have, I would always be make sure that I keep providing content to every single one of these sources because there's a lot of people that need it. So even though people are finding my content in Google, that doesn't mean that I'm not going to be posting in Facebook about it. So make sure that you 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 try to build multiple communities because you're going to get more people to interact with your content. So the other thing that, I, that is really helpful is I want to know, you know, the, the suggested videos. Is YouTube suggesting my content? So I can see that basically the, there's a portion of my traffic coming from these AR Kit and 3D AR Foundation videos. So you can see some of those videos that are getting traction from, from suggested videos. So now if we go up and we look at this pyramid, so these are impression on how they led to watch time. This is one, this is really important and, and sometimes it's really hard to understand it because you might, you might look at it and it might be getting, you know, I really got overwhelmed when I was looking at it at first, but you can see that 531,000.8 impressions are from YouTube recommending my content. So basically YouTube is recommending, is generating impressions. Half a million impressions is from YouTube recommending my content. 8.2% of the of the traffic that YouTube recommended, basically 8.2% of this basically led to led to people actually watching my content. So the 8.2% of that was you know 15.8k, which is the views from impressions. So YouTube is generating a lot of impressions for my content, but I only got 15,000, which is about you know eight. Let's see. It's about, it doesn't really say here what the, what the, basically the conversion is, which is basically 8.2%, which is the views from impressions. But, and then that generated about 38,000 in one minutes of people watching my content. So yeah, 8.2 was 15.8, which is view from impressions. And that was the total. So this is a really great opportunity for me to, to look at how can I improve if YouTube is generating that many impressions and I'm only they're only converting 8.2, can I can I make can I make that 8.2 be higher? And the question that's a question that I that I have for myself, and the question can be answered by saying yes, it can be higher if you improve your thumbnails, if you improve your titles, if you improve basically the whole production of your video. Thumbnails is a is a basically one of the bigger bigger and more important things in this 
because that's what people are going to see first. If your thumbnails don't look good, then people are not going to click on it and therefore they're not going to view your video. So this is really important. The other thing is my playlist. I, I tried to create a lot of playlists so you can see that people are watching augmented reality development tutorials, that's 17.4%. That's basically the one that is doing better out of all my playlists. Then you can see the Magic Leap Creators and Development Tutorials. That one is also doing really well and I've been focusing on Magic Leap quite a bit because I want to I really enjoy that technology, especially the Magic Leap technology because it is honestly mind blowing. So I've been doing a lot of videos in that area. I also did a tutorial series on Unity C Sharp Fundamentals and you can see this used to be first and it's just basically still up there but looks at like my augmented reality videos are doing better that doesn't mean that i'm not going to focus this i'm also going to be extending that and overall i think it's gonna it's basically going to take over some of these because I, I really enjoy programming in c sharp and because of that i think it's going to it's going to bring more people so overall what you enjoy the most and what you do the better on is the things that are exciting for you so i love these technologies and i know that this basically answers that question like what things are doing better the things that are doing better are the things that i enjoy doing the most so the other things that i can see here is the traffic from youtube so if youtube is recommending my content and if people are searching for different terms you can look at some of the keywords that are driving that traffic so i did a video on, on basically on do twin and looks at that one it's, it's basically getting me a lot of people and also unity 2018.3 they're currently in beta and I know that people are, are searching for that. So this is no surprise. And also our foundation, views Blades, and then some of the technologies that I focus on. So that's basically an overall and a summary of the reach. Now let's look at engagement. And engagement was one of those things that I, I just didn't understand really well at the beginning. I At the beginning, you, you want to make sure that you just focus on basically producing videos. And then once you produce videos and you start getting traction and you start generating, you know, more analytics over time, you want to make sure you pay attention to these details because you want to make sure that people watch your entire video and they're not going to watch your entire video. Some people might, but for the most part, they won't because, you know, we all have busy lives and, but you want to make sure that you engage, your engagement basically is going up over time. And that's what I've been focusing on. I've been focusing on areas where I, you know, I look at where people are dropping off and then if they're dropping off after 50 seconds, I might show them a different, you know, different content. And you can do that through cards. You can do also that on end. Basically, end screens are really helpful to, to keep people in your videos because once the video is done, you don't want them to jump to another video that is not in your channel. And you want to make sure you keep them in your channel. So by doing that, you can basically offer them more content at the end of your video. So that's what cards are and also end screens. So let's look at engagement. So engagement over time, I'm getting more watch time. So this is 97.6. So I'm going up, going up 4%. Also, the average view duration looks like I'm dropping. And I wouldn't get paranoid about this. I would just use this as a way of, you know, improving. You know, I'm going to get discouraged sometimes because people may not be watching my videos. But that shouldn't be your, your main motivator. Make sure that you look at these to improve overall and not to drive your content and your desire to create more content because there's a lot of, basically a lot of variables going to this. So use this as a way, as a tool to look at what things you can improve and how you can actually. So if I'm looking at, you know, this is down 3%, I'm going to improve, you know, the video quality. I'm going to improve, maybe I'll, I'll add more cards or I would look at, you know, what things I can improve overall. So you can see, like, if you look at engagement here, so this one is Monday, July 8th. I got 34, basically 3,466 minutes. And also in this one on July, July 11, it's basically, it's just been steadily going up. Also this one, I got 4,000. And I think on this day I did two videos. That's why I got such, such a big jump in there on watch time. So overall, this is, I'm pretty happy with everything here. You can look also at the top videos. I show you some of these. Also, the top videos by end screens. I show you that I am, I'm also adding end screens. So if somebody ends and finish watching your video, you want to make sure you add an end screen in there because that end screen is going to allow the person to either watch another video or click on, you know, click on a button to subscribe to the channel. So end screens are really helpful for keeping basically people in your channel. 
So we also look at top place list, also top end, top, top end screen element types. So I, for the most part, I do videos and playlists. So that's what you see this wants to be. So I'm recommending people to go to another one of my videos and I'm also recommending them to go to one of my playlists. I also recommend people to subscribe to my channel so you can see that that's also one of the top. And also the card. So this is something that I haven't been doing just until recently. I think it's been like about three weeks. I started adding cards and I didn't really like cards before because they were on the way, but now YouTube provides cards in a way that is not, you know, it's not as disrupting. It's basically just a little dialogue that shows on the very top. It's not right on the top of the video. So I've been doing this and basically encouraging people to watch other videos at, at a specific point. So if, if I see that people are dropping from a video after 50 seconds or after two minutes, then I might add a card in there for them to go to another video. All right, so that is engagement. And now if we go into audience, so this one is really interesting because it shows the growth of my community. I still have a lot of room for improvement. I know a lot of people that watch my content, they haven't subscribed to my channel yet, but overall I'm really happy with what this is showing. So you can see that the average views per viewer is 1.8. I can also see that I'm getting, it's about a thousand subscribers for the last 28 days. So it's an improvement of 7%. So subscribers are going up. I'm really, you know, really interested about what things have improved. And, and I think overall it's been the quality and, and the consistency and the new content that I'm showing that is generating, is helping me generate more subscribers. Also, if you look at the watch time for subscribers, so this one is really interesting because only 16.8% of the people that watch my content are subscribed to the channel. So that's crazy because if I had, you know, if I could bump this up 10%, that will be 10% increase on my subscriber count. So that's why I keep, you know, producing content. I keep improving the quality because I want to convert some of those people to be subscribers. But I'm really happy with, you know, the 16.8%. This shows improvement. And I can also look at the gender. Looks like 99.1% are male, also 0.9% are female. To be honest, I haven't looked at this for a long time and I used to have just males and looks like I'm now getting more females in my channel. And of course, I want to make sure that I generate, you know, as many, you know, as many females, as many male people in my channel. So I will look into my channel and see how I can, I can improve that. I can also look at age. So this shows that 31% of the people that watch my content are from 18 to 24 years old. Also 51% are from 25 to 34. From 35 to 44, I got 17%. And then anybody from 45 to 54, it's basically a 0.8%. So this is really interesting data. Then if we look at the subscriber mail, bell notifications, so you know that I have 16.8% people that watch my content that are subscribed. This also shows the percentage of people, of that people that have the bell notification on. So I can see that Let's see, subscribers who turn all notifications from my channel is a 10%. And then also subscribers who turn all notifications from my channel and enable YouTube notifications is 7.6%. So this is really, really important because whenever I push a piece of content, they're going to get a bell notification. They're going to get a notification saying that I push a new, basically a new video. So this stat is really important and you want to make sure that you look at this over time just to see how it's incrementing. We also look at countries. So it looks like United States, of course, is the highest. And also India is up there, Germany, United Kingdom, and Brazil. And of course, you can look at other countries. And then top subtitles and languages. So no subtitles, 92%. And then some people are putting 7.4%, which is in English. Also Spanish, 0.2%. And then looks like Italian is zero. So audience overall has been really really great this is for the last 28 days so before i finish the video and we're going to revenue i'm going to show you the analytics for basically the life basically the last 365 days because i want to show you the growth i want to show you that everything that i that i get in the channel is because of consistency so i want to show you the entire year so that you can get an idea of the improvement there so now if we look if we look at revenue revenue is one that like i said before I wasn't generating until I got, basically, I passed the threshold that YouTube requires for you to become eligible as a YouTube creator. 
basically they they have this thing where now you can base you can basically you have to grow a community to a certain point and then once you get to a community and then certain amount of minutes to a certain point now you're qualified to basically monetize your channel so this is why I'm, I'm i haven't been getting a lot of monetization until april i think i think i think it was in march that i that i got eligible and i became one of the youtube you know a youtube creator that can actually monetize the channel i can't remember what the word is for some reason but you can look in March, I made 56 cents. Then in April, I made $50, and then May, $67. June, $80, and then July, $87. And, and over time, it's been going up, and it's been going up because the community has been going up, because the quality has been going up. So a lot of these numbers reflect the changes that I've been making in the channel. So overall, I'm pretty happy about where things stand. You can also look at the top earning videos. Looks like this video has been generating, so far is the one that generated the most, which is $4.38. Also my Unity AR Foundation, the face, the face mask generated $3.47, and then so on. So this is not surprising because these are some of the videos that got more traction and the videos that people like the most. So if you look at analytics in revenue over time, you can see that you know, overall, I make about two to three dollars every day. So Saturday, one point four. Looks like on Monday, I made four dollars and ninety six cents, and I have a big jump in here, which is probably the day that I made the most, which is five dollars and seventy two cents. And and yes, that's not that much, but it keeps me, you know, it keeps my content, it keeps me doing things that I can do with this. This might not be much, but I can use that for ads. I can use that for you know, hiring an editor that can help me, with, help me with videos. I've been pushing a lot of that money for Facebook ads, and, and that's what I've been doing in, with most of the money that I've been generating for the last, you know, the last few months. So the other things that I wanted to show you is revenue sources. So most of my money gener was generated from, you know, from ad revenue. Looks like on, on the last 28 days, I generated $77.85. Most of it came from ads. And then the remaining of that was from YouTube Premium Revenue. And that's people by basically buying YouTube, basically the YouTube Premium, which is a service that YouTube provides for anybody that doesn't want to get ads. And then also they give you some quality and, and basically different content that is only available through YouTube Premium. So I got some of that revenue there. And then let's see, ad types. So this is where most of my money came from. Looks like a skippable video ads. Is 81% of that money came from, from people skipping video ads. Also, 12% of that money came from people displaying, basically display ads, and then also bumper ads. And some of these ones, I don't really know what they are, to be honest. And so that's basically revenue and, and everything that I wanted to show you as far as like the broken down areas. So now what I want to do is I want to give you an overview of what has happened in the last 365 days. So if you click on the this drop down here and basically you can select, you know, of course, I don't want to do life, lifetime the because I've been in YouTube for such a long time, but I didn't produce videos until, you know, the last year. So that's what I'm selecting 365 days. So this is really, really interesting because you can see that I started, you know, around here on August 4, 2018. And you know, if I if I would have been looking at analytics to be my my main driver, I probably wouldn't given up, you know, early on. But I didn't give up. I wanted to produce and I wanted to create more videos and more content. People were enjoying it. So I kept on creating content throughout that day. So it looks like here, August 4, I was generating views, generating views, and I kept on going. And so if you look at that, that's August, July, and then you know, October, then December, then we, I start, I basically start getting more views and the growth has been just steadily. And if we keep going, it keep going. And the growth overall is really, really exciting. So this is what I, this is what I look at. I look at the entire year and, you know, I might look at the last 20 days, but I like, I really like to look at the entire year to show me if, you know, what things I did well. Of course, I look at the last 20 days to see where I can improve, but this also shows you that I've been improving my content overall. I've been improving how many people are watching my content. And of course, YouTube and Google have been helping and pushing people to my content. So also with, with watch time, if you look at watch time, 
everything here is over a thousand percent improvement a thousand percent improvement so i'll be curious to see one more year and see what what those percentages are right now they're like you know it's it's just really high and it's really hard to to find out if i'm gonna if i'm doing better than the following year which i think i will i just don't know what the percentage is gonna be so if you look at watch time i was getting about you know 388 minutes right there six six hours and 23 minutes from my community and then overall i think at the end I'm, now i'm getting about 4146 from my community which i really appreciate and I, and I won't be tired of saying that because i know some of you already are part of why i mean i'm basically growing so much now if you look at my subscriber count and if we go back i was getting about you know seven people four people and you know sometimes i was getting even two people and then it just means steadily you know generating about so like this day 184 people i don't know what happened that day i think it was when i when i when i launched either one of the magic leap videos or another video that just basically it's got me a lot of subscribers so you want to look at, at those things and see you know what happened during that you know that time span because that might drive you know what you do in the future so overall i think i think i get an average of 30 people every day and then if you if i look at my estimated revenue like i said i wasn't monetizing here because i didn't have enough either enough views or enough subscribers to get to a point and if we go in here this is why when i became eligible to monetize so that was march and if we go up looks like looks like not only my community is going up but also how much money i'm generating it's going up so that's really really exciting so that's honestly everything that i that i wanted to show you and i'm going to be doing this every couple of months i might do it you know three months from today just to show you how things have improved and then basically show you some of my analytics so but I want you to, I want to leave this video and tell you that you got to be consistent, guys. Like, try, you know, try to keep up the quality up, but also be consistent. Become a person that it's going to say, okay, I'm going to release one video a week. And you basically release one video a week. You're going to release a couple of videos a week. Say, so if you say something, make sure that you do it. And also make sure that you're always looking at quality. Make sure that you're always polishing everything that you do. If somebody says something bad about you, or you know they hated a piece of content make sure that you you get more objective feedback make sure that you ask more questions you tell them okay what what part of the content you didn't like and then that is feedback for your basically for your channel to improve i get a lot of people like that i get a lot of people telling me positive things so that's another thing that i didn't mention we look at overall analytics but one thing that i also ensure that i do is i answer every single one of the comments make sure that you're engaging with your community if they have if they have questions if they need help whatever it is that they're asking for make sure you're engaging with them because overall that's they're the ones that are keeping up your channel and they're the ones that are that are part of your community so make sure that you keep you know that conversation back and forth with your community so that's everything that i wanted to show you guys thank you all right guys thank you so much for watching this video i really appreciate your time and if you have any questions about the numbers that i show you please let me know through the comments also, be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers. Either if you're starting out or if you're an advanced game developer, they have resources for you. And also find me on Patreon.com where I'm posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes. I'm also posting links to my repositories in GitHub, which includes free source code. Thank you very much, guys.